So, are we really gonna fucking talk about this? Teens react to NES. Pat and Ian react to teens react to the uh, can I to the please, NES. can I just state for the record that I'm I'm done watching these videos. I feel stupider every time I watch <laughs> them. You know, it's just. <sighs> Here's the thing. Dude, it's eight minutes long, and it's it, it's the same. It's a group of teens all saying one of two things. I don't get it, or I get this. And it's like, okay, cool, but I don't know why we need to discuss the reaction. I don't know why we need to discuss <laughs> our reaction to their reaction on the fucking podcast. I just think it's, we, we talked about the Game Boy one, and it was right, fine. And it was cute, and we needed to do it once, because the kids were tiny, and they were but, like, Game Boy! But it's not like they're gonna do, like, kids re teens react to the Sega Master System. This is gonna be it. This will be the last one. Yeah, uh, here's my issue, though. I And I feel like... I almost feel like one of those guys watching wrestling when you realize, oh my god, it's fake. <laughs> because... I'm sorry. It's still real to me. I'm sorry. When an 18-year-old goes, Legend of Zelda? <laughs> no, fuck you, because they are still making those today. Same with games well, like Mega Man. And I know not everyone's into games as much as we are, but I refuse to believe that you are just completely oblivious to this shit. Maybe they are. Nintendo doesn't have the market saturation it did for when we were teenagers. You yeah, know? but I'm still saying the game the game titles should ring a bell. I mean, I, you might be giving kids too much credit. I mean, nowadays a lot of kids grew up playing tablets and playing iPhones. So if they're if you're a 14 year old, you might never have even had a console before, and that's where we're at now. Right, there's I a mean, chance. The mix of the kids was I think anywhere from 14 to 19. I think was one of them. And but that's my problem. It was I think it was one of the 19 year old kids who was like, I don't know what this is, and it's like bullshit. You don't know what well, this is. I like that the Fine Brothers screwed up by saying Dragon Warrior Three was one of the most common games in the system. Said Dragon no Warrior. No. I was like, Have you done your research at all, Fine Brothers? Uh, Another reason why I'm wondering why we're discussing this. Well, they can't even do okay. their fucking research. It's interesting though that. This is why to me is that even the kids that at first said, What is this? They still picked up and liked playing Super Mario Bros. and it was fun to them. Yeah. And that to me shows how important we just did it on video game years. And I, I hate the people that would go like, Oh, Super Mario Bros. wasn't that important of a game. It was really important. important. Well, I, I did like that. I liked the fact that even the kids who were either too cool for it and were maybe faking they didn't know these things yes. or, or, um, just legitimately didn't know you could put a controller in their hand and the one girl said it i like this there's only two buttons it's simple i can you play can it. figure it out and everyone immediately understood the appeal of super mario brothers sure so just for that fact alone for the fact that it 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 further reinforced super mario brothers as an extremely important game good i'm glad but i just have a tough time thinking that with how well, popular retro game has get retro gaming has gotten it's um, gotten popular but with teenagers not as it's not as saturated as you thought i think i know you're I, working in a game i'm store. i'm more yes my my angle is coming from a bias this is what's interesting one of the questions asked because of course they had to go over blowing in the cartridge to make it worse they had to we all did it we didn't know they lied to us i i personally yeah, talked but, to, but stop perpetuating it i i i asked howard phillips personally I said, why didn't you tell people to use rubbing alcohol and Q-tips? You would have saved us all hours a day. And he said to me, they were afraid kids would douse themselves and set themselves on fire. That was why they, for better or worse, straight from the god Howard Phillips himself, he told me that's why they didn't want to promote that. Probably also because they wanted to promote their cleaning, cleaning cartridges, yeah. which again, those didn't, come, didn't start coming out until around 89, 88, 89, but still, that was the reason. But it was funny that one of the questions I asked to them was, can you imagine a console getting this popular where you have all these issues playing the games on? I'm like, no, I can't imagine that at all. <laughs> Did you just forget the Xbox 360 right. that had a failure rate of like 40%? Right. Where you just didn't have problems getting the games that worked. You couldn't turn the fucking console on to play them. Right. You know? With the Nintendo, you got the game to work. With the Xbox 360, you binned it and bought another. You yeah, know, with your 360, over. the console blew up in your house. <laughs> so I just thought that was funny. And the 360 was popular and led to more sales. You know, but um, it, whatever. It's it's a cute video. I, I, I adore it. I adore the video. The same way the GameCube. The kids love playing the GameCube. The little girl playing Tetris. Man, this is fun. You mean the Game Boy? Yeah, the Game Boy one. I liked. Great. I liked that one. I just don't think. I mean, I feel. I feel like we did the exact same thing. We just 
up to the generation. So is this just search fodder for us on YouTube? We're, we're gonna this, this is just clickbait. <laughs> is this you, clickbait? you have resorted to fucking clickbait. <laughs>